What's going on, all my fellow boy lovers out there? Uh, today, we're gonna do something similar to last time, except we're going until only one country's left. So, uh, yeah, obviously we're using the brand new Imperator Rome game. Yeah, I'm still learning, definitely learning, like, how the AI works, and I guess nations can fall apart. I don't really know how this is gonna go, but, you know, let's see. At a certain point, in order to make this work, like, later, maybe a thousand years down the line, I had to do, like, a winner-take-all type of scenario, so every war was just for complete annexation. And I guess I've already made my pick loud and clear, so uh, hopefully they do well, I, I guess, to give them some good luck. I'll try out their mating call. Yeah, boy! I'm currently on vacation this week, but when I come back, I'm gonna have a very special video for you guys. I don't wanna spoil it at all, but uh, if you follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, you probably have already figured it out. I'll be vlogging from a historical location, so just keep a lookout for that. I think you guys are gonna like it. Now, if you watched my last video, uh, you'll remember that Rome got embarrassed. It's just, it's kind of weird. They're in the title of the game, and when they lose that horribly. I don't know, it, it's odd. Let, let's see if they do better here. Kind of also want to root for Iberia and Albania, just for the confusion that's gonna cause if they have this massive empire that is really not anywhere close to where we're used to seeing them. I guess here at the very beginning, the only name that really pops out at me are these guys in the British Isles. But I don't know how much I trust that. I mean, this area was a mess last time, constantly swapping back and forth between different powers. So I don't know if I trust them just yet. I've noticed that sometimes the Roman AI will just get a massive amount of land within the first 10 years. That's not the case here, though, which should allow for a lot of these other places to have a chance. I'm still trying to get used to some of the CK2 elements, so I wasn't sure exactly what type of rash this was. Like, it could have been that bad that it was affecting everyone's happiness. Because if it is, you should probably go see a doctor. Oh, paradox. Paradox. Didn't take long to find one of these. Uh, we had a 76-year-old ruler right here with his 36-year-old uh, wife. Now, that's not that bad. That's not that bad, but... That's still, like, double her age. So far in Iberia, we got a couple places catching my eye. Uh, this place right here in, like, modern-day Portugal, as well as Belia, and, of course, we gotta watch for Carthage. Isn't this place Celtic, anyways? Kel yeah, Celtic culture? I guess so. But I'd really love to see, like, the German tribes unite and, uh, just take everyone down. Like, I, I think that is gonna be a rare thing for the AI, though. I, I doubt we're gonna see that with this time period. Maybe this is a bit of a stretch, but I feel like Kush just made the outline of a face, kind of. I... I don't know, I, I kind of see a face, and then there's some green thing, they're, they're, they're doing something, I don't know. And the Romans have just defeated the Etruscans, they are on their way to unifying the Italian peninsula. That is really bad news for the rest of the world, obviously. I found a surprising amount of old dudes without any spouses, or any children, like this guy from India, 68 years old, doesn't have anyone, I don't know if it has something to do with his inflammation. Maybe, or, or maybe it's the dementia. Well, I think it's about that time to say goodbye to boy, because, uh, yeah, they're gonna get taken out. They had a good run. Not really, they didn't do a single thing. But maybe the Greeks can save them. We all know how much they love boys. I'm liking this expansion from Burgundia. Uh, they have four different islands, just island hopping through Denmark. Let's see if they keep on going. Where are the Visigothics at? Is that a thing in this game, or is it too early? I don't know, I doubt these guys are them. But, uh, still wondering about that. Oh, wow, what's up with these guys? They're doing great over this way. So, uh, they're trading, obviously, with all their neighbors, as well as they've got a little friendship, kind of, military access. I mean, they, it might be a forced friendship, but whatever. Interesting that Macedon just came down here and whooped on Greece, or the little Greece city-states. That did not happen last time. This is kind of early for them to do that. Moria is going through a little civil war. It's not the biggest uprising ever, but, uh, this is gonna distract them. I, I noticed that since they're on the corner of the map, they have a very easy time of kind of just taking out everyone. Albania is also going through their own little revolts, which they're having a lot of problems. They don't look that good. Uh, I guess we'll just root for Iberia then. Carthage just took a bite out of the coastline of southern Spain, and uh, I'm also noticing a couple of new people in this region. A lot of, uh, yeah, new faces. I think that's gonna happen, like rise and fall of nations. Whoa, okay, so who are these guys? That was random. They're looking pretty good. They're their goals, obviously, I, I believe. Uh, normally, I thought Pictonia did as well in this region. Not this time. I gotta say, I love that. I love that. How did you get all this? Okay, it's still a little too early to do my longest yeah boy ever, but one day, you're probably still gonna get taken out. But, you know, I like it. And Macedon continues to impress as they've made the jump into Africa. And, uh, actually, Egypt is struggling. They are not looking too good. They might have to just take out Kush and maybe hide down here. Are you guys gonna collapse again? Come on, that, that that happened last time, and it was pretty devastating, like, they never recovered. Uh, but, well, you guys definitely did. Oh, maybe they took, they definitely took a lot of land, and I think they might have just got a little bit too big. Yeah, that, that that's too early, man, you can't do that. It is gonna be kind of interesting to see who wins in India now, because it's kind of all fair game. 
Uh, unless, I don't know, some outside power unites and then takes them out again. But then again, I, these guys are still very powerful. We got a couple Scythias over here forming. I like that, which, I mean, the Scythians this way died out. Which, I mean, that's fine. I want to see just one powerful Scythia, please. That'd be nice. I was really confused for a second here. I saw like a pretty drastic age difference between these two kids. A 34-year-old son and some baby, uh... Then I realized the baby was dead, so it doesn't really matter. Iberia, come on, guys. What's going on? You, you guys got to pick a power or something like that. I, I don't I don't know what any of this stuff is. Uh, you guys have, like, some unconnected territory all over the place. Maybe at one point they had a pretty big control over this region. Also, Carthage got kicked out, so they're just chilling in North Africa. And I believe we're about to see the settling of Ireland in a second here. They're definitely grabbing up a few more tiles in this region. Uh, I don't even know who's going to win out. It's still kind of divided this way, too. Can't believe they did that to Egypt. Okay, damn. They just got smashed, and uh, Kush is doing pretty good, and so are these guys, which, I mean, they were really divided for a long time. Now they're doing better. Phrygia. Phrygia, that's what they're called. I, I figured I should probably look up their pronunciation since they're kind of important. And the two empires in the east have kind of united, and they're looking... All right, I guess. I mean, they were struggling for a while there. There's definitely going to be a couple of battles between these two. Definitely. Look what they've done to my boy. Or my boys. I don't even know. It was, is this a good thing? Were they, were they like once a great empire and I missed it? Uh, I'm depressed now. Okay, so Kush has in fact taken over. And, uh, oh, I guess Egypt might still be around. Just barely, I guess. Uh, also Macedon and Phrygia kind of getting pushed out. Just ever so slightly. Carthage is looking alright, but I don't really know where they're going to expand to next. I mean, there's already this power growing in Iberia. They got to watch out for Rome, because Rome is terrifying. I guess they might be able to go out east. And I think it's safe to say that these guys will probably unite Britannia, if that is the correct term for this time period. I I'm not even sure. Unless the Scots do something about it, or I these are not... Scots or something. I think they're picks, right? Oh, they are the picks. Okay, that's cool. There's no longer a space here separating the German tribes from, I guess, everyone else. So that could be kind of a bad thing. Uh, these guys are looking all right, though. Maybe they can stop someone. Ouch. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, so uh, safe to say Carthage is not going to have an amazing game because this is really everything they have. So they're screwed. Chill your eyes if you don't want herpes because this border gore is spreading. I don't know if that was enough time to, to warn you guys. You, you guys all might have just contracted it. This is pretty bad. So it happened. There they go. Uh, that looks pretty good. You probably should get as much land now as possible because the Romans are coming for you. And they're not going to let you off easy. I think they just took... Oh, they took a bad chunk out of Macedon. Okay, you guys are done. Scythia's making a nice name for herself just east of the Caspian Sea. We'll see if they continue to survive because uh, obviously this empire united well, a long time ago, but yeah, they're pretty scary. And Moria will have some competition, I suppose, from these guys here in the south. I mean, not much competition. They'll, they'll still likely lose, but we'll see. So there's about a dozen nations left, and uh, it's safe to say that someone here is probably going to win the game. I mean, that's, yeah, that's obvious. And uh, Kush still around, and there's more Kush than ever. The Station Nation seems to be doing pretty all right. Even though they're surrounded by a lot of powers, they deserve a little bit of credit, right? I mean, they're partially Scythia. I don't, I think they originated from this region. Hey, the Germans are doing something. All right, that's not too bad. I mean, they pretty much have everything here. Um, I don't know if they have very many friends. We should probably find out. Did they have, no, no friends. You guys are gonna need, to, oh. You're dead. Yeah, Rome's gonna kill you. Some of you guys should probably start hating them. There's a lot of neighbors that have neutral feelings, and that's a terrible idea. They're gonna take everything if you're not careful. This doesn't really matter since we're going until only one country's left anyways, but let's still take a look at the score, because apparently this is judging based on, like, what you started from. So if you started as a little empire and you got big, then you deserve a little bit more credit. Clearly, these people in Iberia doing pretty well. India! Okay, you guys gotta get together. Uh, you should probably... I don't know, fight more wars or, or something. It's probably a little too late, though. Britannia? What the hell's Britannia? Okay, what exactly happened here? Maybe someone collapsed, possibly. Uh, things are definitely changing, and the Romans are slowly approaching this English Channel, if, if that's still what it's called. Phrygia's looking nice, and, uh, I mean, I don't like that they're taking out one of my picks, but overall, I haven't seen, like, them look this good, at least not yet, not in my test runs. And there's still a lot that's got to be done out here in the east, so, uh, lots of possible distractions. I still think it's anyone's game. Unfortunately, Scythia fell apart, and uh, these guys have definitely asserted their dominance. At least at one point, they had stuff all the way over here. That's pretty good. At this point, short of Sophia, or however you say that, uh, forming some sort of alliance to take out Rome, I don't... Is that... Did they lose their capital? 
I don't, I don't know how that happened. Oh, but they are currently at war right now. So um, I don't know if anyone else is involved because this still doesn't look like a good idea. Oh yeah, I guess they have some friends, but oh boy. This is always fun. Just check out the AI units here way past the end date. Just, you know, just to check out the party. Looks fun down there. Ouch, and Rome made them pay hard. So uh, that did not go so well, I guess, for these Iberians, these Celtic I Iberians, I don't know what they were, but uh, yeah, Rome's gonna win, I think, the West. And these guys are just getting sandwiched right now. It's uh, it's not fun. They're involved in another war, which I do not expect them to win. At this point, it's pretty obvious who the final two empires are gonna be, but I still think those minor neighbors could still make an impact. That's for sure, depending on like, you know, who it allies to who. I mean, let's see, does Rome have any friends? No. Not any friends? Do you guys have any friends? Lucids? Nope, nothing either. We'll see if that changes, because I guess it's possible. I mean, this is not going to be enough to stop the Romans, but maybe if something happens in the east, I don't know. I'm just trying to throw some out there. So here we go. It's almost been about 1,500 years since the start of this game, and uh, the war has already begun. Rome versus the Seleucid Empire. And uh, I think it is kind of perfect, just considering, like, the cultures and religions of everything. Well, they, they still have a, a lot to change, but yeah. Makes a lot of sense. As a whole lot of dudes out there on the battlefield, yeah, my computer's about to explode. Safe to say, I guess I'll, I'll just get a new PC, whatever. Nice little stack of 650,000 men versus 261. Uh, also another battle right next to here. Man, I, I still love these like fighting animations. Oh, it's sexy. So sexy. This loose has got 11,000 war elephants. Okay, yeah, Rome, it's, it's over for you. you. You ain't gonna stand this. Are they breeding them over there? They gotta be breeding them. And that was only one stack. So they've got to have hundreds of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. Maybe there's more elephants than humans. Is that what's happening here? Wouldn't mind that. And there you go. So uh, I guess it was kind of obvious once we zoomed in and got down to like the nitty gritty. Uh, okay, Rome, that's the second time you've embarrassed yourself on my channel. Fantastic. I actually thought this was going to be kind of a boring video because I, I thought it was obvious that they were going to win. But no. They start off well, but it's never enough. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to LFC, Elijah Senpai, Crucification, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Mo, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Free Cruise, Mr. Perkelly, Cooter Donkey, Brandon Hinkle, Destiny F 9000, Mega Fat Boy, A Sneaky Gengar, Battle Buddy 1847, James Miller, Mike S is gay, Sleeper 56, Huey Longdong, and Alfonso M6, Millitime, Double Books. Thank you.